Have you ever been in that situation where you come out and play golf on the weekend and after the first three or four holes, you just know you're not gonna play very well? Maybe you hit a three putt in the first hole, maybe you got a quad bogey, maybe you sliced the OB. You just know that the whole round, you're gonna be battling to try and shoot your handicap. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how you can still shoot in and around your handicap, even when you're not playing very well. I'm giving away two Tacoma Skyforger wedges. Make sure you watch this video all the way through to find out how to win. You're joining me here in the third hole. I doubled the first and parred the second. A really poor start and just something's off. The swing doesn't feel right. So a very similar shot to the first hole, a balloon driver shot off the heel. It's not gone very far. I'm trying to draw it like I've done in recent rounds, but it's just not drawing. The contact's just not there. It's a decent little chip with the 52 wedge and it's put me into kind of tapping range, but I missed a putt similar to this on the first hole, so it's in my head. Missed it, and now I'm three over after three. So as I said in the previous hole, I'm trying to hit my draw that I've been hitting recently. I aim over the bunker, but I've mishit it and it's too low and it's going to end up in the greenside bunker. If there's one place on this hole you don't want to go, it's right in this spot. Greenside bunker, the pin's right at the front, let's see if I can get out. It's a fantastic shot, great contact, and I'm not exaggerating, this is the only good shot I had the entire round. It's a great putt for par, but I had to scramble to get there. So after identifying that I'm not shooting very well, I'm not hitting the ball very well, this whole round has now turned into damage limitation. So a double bogey on the first hole, I'm an eight handicapper, so I know that I've got six shots left in my entire round. So I'm going to try and put a strategy in place to make sure I reduce the damages and not shoot a massive destructive score. So going forward in this round, my new strategy is to club up. So when I'm hitting an eight iron, I'm going to try and hit a nice smooth seven, make sure I get good contact because I'm not hitting it very well. If I try and hit a full swing, mistakes are going to happen. I'm going to try and keep everything simple. So putting it in and around the green, hitting low shots, hitting high percentage shots, reduce the damages, damage limitation, and try and bring my score down and see if I can shoot in and around my handicap. So I know I'm striking it off the heel, so I'm gonna aim down the left side. I've hit it off the heel again. It's not faded as much as I wanted it to, but it's gonna be in play. Again, the draw is not working, so I'm gonna aim a little bit straighter. Just try and pop it down there. It's actually a nine iron club, but I'm hitting an eight iron nice and smooth. In regards to damage limitation, I'm not going to hit the wedge here. It's a very tight lie. If I thin it, it's going to go off the back into the burn. So hitting the Texas wedge. If it gets really close for a tap-in, perfect. If I miss the pot and get a bogey, it's not the end of the world. So same again on the sixth hole, I'm hitting those floaty high Healy shots, so I'm aiming down the left side. It's the perfect contact and it's going to be a great shot. So again, I try to aim a little bit straight, but I can see here my face is closed and I've snap hooked it into the bushes and it's going to be really tough to get out of there. Again, ego to the side, only thing I can do here is try and just bump a little ugly 7 iron out here, see if I can get it on the green or just short. All I care about in this round is keeping the doubles and keeping the triples off the scorecard. I'll get bogeys throughout this round because I'm not playing very well. If I can get the odd par, then that's fine. It's a very good effort from a very difficult spot. To get up and down from there would have been a miracle, so pretty happy with the two putt. So the second thing you need to focus on when you're not playing very well is taking your medicine. So a lot of times when you're not playing well, you think to yourself, oh, I need a, I need a birdie, I need to get loads of pars, or... Oh, I need to make sure I hit this flag here. If you try these shots out, you're going to end up with a worse score. So make sure that you take your medicine. If you have to go and bail out and get a bogey or lay up, just do so. If you end up getting more doubles and more triples, your score is going to go through the roof. So make sure, first of all, simple strategy. Calm yourself down. Think about what you're going to do. Second of all, make sure you take your medicine. Don't try those hero shots and make your score even worse than it already is. Okay, so same again, the draw's not working, so kind of aiming straight down here. Again, clubbing up, it should be a six iron, but I'm hitting a nice smooth five. Again, it's not great contact and it's going to be short. Removing the wedge out the hand again, I probably should hit a wedge here, but because I'm not getting good contact, I'd probably thin it or chunk it, so 
Texas wedge is out, let's try and get it as close as possible. Not bad again, bogeys are a friend, I'm hoping this goes in, if it doesn't it's a bogey, just get out of there. It's just short again, so potentially should have been two pars in a row, and I've been a foot out each time. I often find it's definitely not my day when I'm missing pars by like a foot or by like a centimetre, and they're just not going in hole after hole. So par 5 next, there's plenty of room in this fairway, so I'll just let the driver loose. It's gone off to the right again, as expected. I'm not very happy. You can see I'm starting to get really frustrated. It's taken 7 holes, but I'm starting to get really angry. There's a bunker about 2.30 here, so I'm just going to hit a nice 6 iron just down there, see if I can get it just short. It's actually carried a long way, and I've got a decent chance to get up and down for a birdie. At this point, it's damage limitation again. I don't want to flirt with that bunker, so I'm aiming left side of the pin, and hopefully it just pops up onto the green. So, a rare birdie putt here. If this goes in, it could be a game changer for my scorecard. These will pop out throughout your round. If you're playing really poorly, you will get one or two chances to kind of redeem yourself, and that's just why it's agonizing, but tapping par is fine. So we're gonna fast forward a touch to the 13th hole. On the four holes you just missed, I went three over through four, which isn't great, but I've got another par three here. I've tried to hit the draw again. It's actually over hit and out to the right, so it's gonna be tricky to get up and down. So, the situation I'm in now, the mental side of golf is now coming into play, so I can feel myself getting really frustrated with my ball striking. Last week I shot, was it like four or five over, playing really well. Um, I played nine holes a couple of days ago and I shoot one over. Ball striking was so good, putting was amazing. And today it's just not coming together and it's really, really frustrating. But yeah, the mental game really takes a hit when you're not playing very well and it's really tough to kind of get over it. But you just got to remember, you're out in the golf course, just chill out. Everyone shoots bad scores, you see myself not playing very well. My last video I played, incredible. So, one of those things that happens, you don't play very well at times. So, try and get over it, stick to your strategy. Oh man, wait until you see this. It's going to have to be a 56 degree, I'm going to have to float it. But I might play it out to the, the flat side of the green, kind of like reduce the damages a little bit. I'll show you this just now. So the ball's in the rough, but look at this. The situation here, if I hit it anywhere on the left side, it's gonna fall into that little trap there. So I'm gonna have to hit it out to the right here and kind of keep it on the flat and it leaves myself a, a longer putt, but it's much better than leaving myself in this situation here, having to putt or chip up the hill. So let's see how it get on. Again, making these smart decisions as a golfer is very, very tough because you want to go for that pin. You want to get as close as possible on all your shots, but I've had to hit out to the flat side of the green and just aim for a two putt. If it goes in again, it's fantastic. Two putt is the aim. Bogey, get out of there. So we're looking for a strong finish. Again, aiming down the left side. I know it's gonna come off the heel, so I've aimed down the left side and it's gonna be right in the middle of the fairway. So when I'm not playing very well, one of the first things that I go back to is my setup. So take my time during my setup. Am I set up correctly? Is that one of the reasons why I'm not playing very well? And from there you can kind of have a, like a little reset like what I've done. Reset, okay, back to basics. Now let's go and try and shoot a better score. So again, going for a more neutral setup, but it's just not happening. I'm trying to draw a little bit and it's just not going well. I'm going to have a tricky up and down from there. I think one of the comments that someone said in my last video is that the mental side of golf is really overlooked. So even when I'm giving you these tips, I'm still playing really, really badly, but my score isn't too bad, if you know what I mean. So in my head, I know that I can shoot way better. I know that I can hit the ball really, really well, but sometimes you just can't and it's not your fault. It's just something either in your head or something's happened in the rounds kind of taking over your mind and you've got that negative swing thought, keep coming back. What can you do in the situation right now to make sure you reduce the damage? So don't go for the hero shots. What's the high percentage play? In this situation here, I'm in between two bunkers. It's a tough little lie, but I've got plenty of green to work with, so I'm probably gonna hit like a low lofted club, middle of the green. See it runs towards the hole. If it goes close to the hole, great, a tap in for a par. If it doesn't, I've got a two putt for the bogey, and that's absolutely fine. Okay, so as I said, going for a little 48 degree, I just wanna pop it over here. I'm just lifting the hands a little bit, reducing that error, popping it up, and trying to run it up to the flag. It actually hits the pin here, and I've got a little tap in for the par. Okay, so we've got that par that we're looking for. Let's try and get a strong finish. Could this be momentum to push me forward? 
Now this shot is so bad that I couldn't even put a tracer on it, it wouldn't work, so it just kind of like popped out, thinned it a touch, but it's going to be okay, I'm going to have a decent putt for birdie. Tap in for the par, that's two pars in a row, and the momentum's starting to shift, I'm starting to feel a little bit of confidence. As a result, I've hit the best drive of the day, it's a low bullet fade and it's got an absolute oh, mile. Finally. The moral of the story is stick in it, stick with your game plan. Although you've had a bad start, don't let it get to you and just see where it goes. Okay, let's see if I can get this on the green-ish and give myself a little birdie chance. So as I said, the score is still savable because I've kept myself in the game by keeping the doubles and triples off the scorecard. I've now got a chance to hit a few good shots, maybe get a few pars and have a strong finish. So not a good strike again. I've kind of flared it out to the right. I've got a tough up and down now. I'm going to have to hook it around the top corner. It does slope right to left, but I've thinned it a touch, so it's going to be a bit long. However, we have this putt for birdie, so it's a pretty good chance. It's a good roll, just not enough tap in for the par. It's three pars in a row. Two holes to go if we go par par. My score is going to be way better than what I thought it was going to be after my tough start to the round. Again, I couldn't even put a tracer on this shot. It was so bad. I smothered it, healed it. It was, oh, it was just terrible. But we hit the right club and we're actually on the green still. So we've got a chance to go two putt for another par. Because I clubbed up because I wasn't hitting the ball very well today, I actually managed to carry it onto the green and keep myself away from all the crap. So it's a great putt. Potentially we can now get five pars in a row and have a really strong finish to the round. If we manage to get five pars here, all that worry throughout the entire round would be for nothing. This round's a prime example of you can have a really poor start and still manage to shoot a respectable score. Although I didn't manage to shoot in and around my handicap, it's only just over and it's not the end of the world. On another day, I can shoot a better score. If you think back to the start of the video, I had two or three putts that rolled just to the side. That could have been two or three shots off my score just now, and I could have a way better overall score. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it helps. If you did like the video, please make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, any tips you want to share with others that are watching the video, and please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one.